MTC. Unit 17 No Analysis It is so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Too often, we convince ourselves that massive success requires massive action. Whether it is losing weight, winning a championship, or achieving any other goal, we put pressure on ourselves to make some earth-shaking improvement that everyone will talk about. Meanwhile, improving by 1% isn't particularly notable, but it can be far more meaningful in the long run. 1. The difference this tiny improvement can make over time is surprising. Here's how the math works out, if you can get 1% better each day for one year, you'll end up 37 times better by the time you're done. 1 1 3 7. Conversely, if you get 1% worse each day for one year, you'll decline nearly down to zero. 1 1 0. What starts as a small win or a minor failure adds up to something much more. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 No 01. Studies have consistently shown caffeine to be effective when used together with a pain reliever to treat headaches. The positive correlation between caffeine intake and staying alert throughout the day has also been well established. As little as 60 mg, the amount typically in one cup of tea, can lead to a faster reaction time. 60 mg. However, using caffeine to improve alertness and mental performance doesn't replace getting a good night's sleep. One study from 2018 showed that coffee improved reaction times in those with or without poor sleep, but caffeine seemed to increase errors in the group with little sleep. 2018. Additionally, this study showed that even with caffeine, the group with little sleep did not score as well as those with adequate sleep. It suggests that caffeine does not fully make up for inadequate sleep. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 No 02. Rewarding business success doesn't always have to be done in a material way. A software company I once worked for had a great way of recognizing sales success. The sales director kept an air horn outside his office and would come out and blow the horn every time a salesperson settled a deal. The noise, of course, interrupted anything and everything happening in the office because it was unbelievably loud. However, it had an amazingly positive impact on everyone. Sometimes rewarding success can be as easy as that, especially when peer recognition is important. You should have seen the way the rest of the sales team wanted the air horn blown for them. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 No 03. Food chain means the transfer of food energy from the source in plants through a series of organisms with the repeated process of eating and being eaten. In a grassland, grass is eaten by rabbits while rabbits in turn are eaten by foxes. This is an example of a simple food chain. This food chain implies the sequence in which food energy is transferred from producer to consumer or higher trophic level. It has been observed that at each level of transfer, a large proportion, 80-90% of the potential energy is lost as heat. 80-90%. Hence the number of steps or links in a sequence is restricted, usually to 4 or 5. 4-5. The shorter the food chain or the nearer the organism is to the beginning of the chain, the greater the available energy intake is. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 No 04. The continued survival of the human race can be explained by our ability to adapt to our environment. While we may have lost some of our ancient ancestors' survival skills, we have learned new skills as they have become necessary. Today, the gap between the skills we once had and the skills we now have grows ever wider as we rely more heavily on modern technology. Therefore, when you head off into the wilderness, it is important to fully prepare for the environment. Before a trip, research how the native inhabitants dress, work, and eat. How they have adapted to their way of life will help you to understand the environment and allow you to select the best gear and learn the correct skills. 
This is crucial because most survival situations arise as a result of a series of events that could have been avoided. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 No. 05 Gender research shows a complex relationship between gender and conflict styles. Some research suggests that women from Western cultures tend to be more caring than men. This tendency may result from socialization processes in which women are encouraged to care for their families and men are encouraged to be successful in competitive work environments. However, we live in a society where gender roles and boundaries are not as strict as in prior generations. There is significant variability in assertiveness and cooperation among women, as well as among men. Although conflict resolution experts should be able to recognize cultural and gender differences, they should also be aware of within-group variations and the risks of stereotyping. Culture and gender may affect the way people perceive, interpret, and respond to conflict, however, we must be careful to avoid overgeneralizations and to consider individual differences. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 No. 06 Currently, we cannot send humans to other planets. One obstacle is that such a trip would take years. A spacecraft would need to carry enough air, water, and other supplies needed for survival on the long journey. Another obstacle is the harsh conditions on other planets, such as extreme heat and cold. Some planets do not even have surfaces to land on. Because of these obstacles, most research missions in space are accomplished through the use of spacecraft without crews aboard. These explorations pose no risk to human life and are less expensive than ones involving astronauts. The spacecraft carry instruments that test the compositions and characteristics of planets. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 No. 07 Our brains are constantly solving problems. Every time we learn, or remember, or make sense of something, we solve a problem. Some psychologists have characterized all infant language learning as problem-solving, extending to children such scientific procedures as learning by experiment, or hypothesis testing. Grown-ups rarely explain the meaning of new words to children, let alone how grammatical rules work. Instead they use the words or the rules in conversation and leave it to children to figure out what is going on. In order to learn language, an infant must make sense of the contexts in which language occurs, problems must be solved. We have all been solving problems of this kind since childhood, usually without awareness of what we are doing. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 17 No. 08 There are some cultures that can be referred to as people who live outside of time. The Amandawa tribe, living in Brazil, does not have a concept of time that can be measured or counted. Amandawa Rather they live in a world of serial events, rather than seeing events as being rooted in time. Researchers also found that no one had an age. Instead, they change their names to reflect their stage of life and position within their society, so a little child will give up their name to a newborn sibling and take on a new one. In the US we have so many metaphors for time and its passing that we think of time as a thing, that is the weekend is almost gone, or I haven't got the time. Dot. Dot. We think such statements are objective, but they aren't. We create these metaphors, but the Amandawa don't talk or think in metaphors for time. Amandawa MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 No. 09 The natural world provides a rich source of symbols used in art and literature. Plants and animals are central to mythology, dance, song, poetry, rituals, festivals, and holidays around the world. Different cultures can exhibit opposite attitudes toward a given species. Snakes, for example, are honored by some cultures and hated by others. Rats are considered pests in much of Europe and North America and greatly respected in some parts of India. Of course, within cultures individual attitudes can vary dramatically. For instance, in Britain many people dislike rodents, 
and yet there are several associations devoted to breeding them, including the National Mouse Club and the National Fancy Rat Club. National Mouse Club National Fancy Rat Club MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 10 Achieving focus in a movie is easy. Directors can simply point the camera at whatever they want the audience to look at. Close UPS and slow camera shots can emphasize a killer's hand or a character's brief glance of guilt. On stage, focus is much more difficult because the audience is free to look wherever they like. The stage director must gain the audience's attention and direct their eyes to a particular spot or actor. This can be done through lighting, costumes, scenery, voice, and movements. Focus can be gained by simply putting a spotlight on one actor, by having one actor in red and everyone else in grey, or by having one actor move while the others remain still. All these techniques will quickly draw the audience's attention to the actor whom the director wants to be in focus. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 11 You've probably heard the expression, first impressions matter a lot. Life really doesn't give many people a second chance to make a good first impression. It has been determined that it takes only a few seconds for anyone to assess another individual. This is very noticeable in recruitment processes, where top recruiters can predict the direction of their eventual decision on any candidate within a few seconds of introducing themselves. So, a candidate's CV may speak knowledge and competence, but their appearance and introduction may tell of a lack of coordination, fear, and poor interpersonal skills. In this way, quick judgments are not only relevant in employment matters, they are equally applicable in love and relationship matters too. On a date with a wonderful somebody who you've painstakingly tracked down for months, subtle things like bad breath or wrinkled clothes may spoil your noble efforts. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 12 Have you ever thought about how you can tell what somebody else is feeling? Sometimes, friends might tell you that they are feeling happy or sad but, even if they do not tell you, I am sure that you would be able to make a good guess about what kind of mood they are in. You might get a clue from the tone of voice that they use. For example, they may raise their voice if they are angry or talk in a shaky way if they are scared. The other main clue you might use to tell what a friend is feeling would be to look at his or her facial expression. We have lots of muscles in our faces which enable us to move our face into lots of different positions. This happens spontaneously when we feel a particular emotion. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 13 After the technical rehearsal, the theater company will meet with the director, technical managers, and stage manager to review the rehearsal. Usually there will be comments about all the good things about the performance. Individuals should make mental and written notes on the positive comments about their own personal contributions as well as those directed toward the crew and the entire company. Building on positive accomplishments can reduce nervousness. In addition to positive comments, the director and manager will undoubtedly have comments about what still needs work. Sometimes, these negative comments can seem overwhelming and stressful. Time pressures to make these last-minute changes can be a source of stress. Take each suggestion with good humor and enthusiasm and tackle each task one by one. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 14 Some years ago at the National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C., a 13-year-old boy was asked to spell Echalalia a word that means a tendency to repeat whatever one hears. Washington D.C., 13 Echolalia. Although he misspelled the word, the judges misheard him, told him he had spelled the word right, and allowed him to advance. When the boy learned that he had misspelled the word, he went to the judges and told them. So he was eliminated from the competition after all. Newspaper headlines the next day called the honest young man a spelling bee hero and his photo appeared in the New York Times. The New York Times The judges said I had a lot of honesty, the boy told reporters. 
he added that part of his motive was, I didn't want to feel like a liar. Dot. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 Number 15. Whenever you say what you can't do, say what you can do. This ends a sentence on a positive note and has a much lower tendency to cause someone to challenge it. Consider this situation a colleague comes up to you and asks you to look over some figures with them before a meeting they are having tomorrow. You simply say, no, I can't deal with this now. Dot. This may then lead to them insisting how important your input is, increasing the pressure on you to give in. Instead of that, say to them, I can't deal with that now but what I can do is I can ask Brian to give you a hand and he should be able to explain them. Brain. Dot. Or, I can't deal with that now but I can find you in about half an hour when I have finished. 30. Dot. Either of these types of responses are better than ending it with a negative. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 Number 16. Most of us have hired many people based on human resources criteria along with some technical and personal information that the boss thought was important. I have found that most people like to hire people just like themselves. This may have worked in the past, but today, with interconnected team processes, we don't want all people who are the same. In a team, some need to be leaders, some need to be doers, some need to provide creative strengths, some need to be inspirers, some need to provide imagination, and so on. In other words, we are looking for a diversified team where members complement one another. When putting together a new team or hiring team members, we need to look at each individual and how he or she fits into the whole of our team objective. The bigger the team, the more possibilities exist for diversity. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 Number 17. Imagine in your mind one of your favorite paintings, drawings, cartoon characters, or something equally complex. Now, with that picture in your mind, try to draw what your mind sees. Unless you are unusually gifted, your drawing will look completely different from what you are seeing with your mind's eye. However, if you tried to copy the original rather than your imaginary drawing, you might find your drawing now was a little better. Furthermore, if you copied the picture many times, you would find that each time your drawing would get a little better, a little more accurate. Practice makes perfect. This is because you are developing the skills of coordinating what your mind perceives with the movement of your body parts. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 Number 18. The way we communicate influences our ability to build strong and healthy communities. Traditional ways of building communities have emphasized debate and argument. For example, the United States has a strong tradition of using town hall meetings to deliberate important issues within communities. In these settings, advocates for each side of the issue present arguments for their positions, and public issues have been discussed in such public forums. Yet for debate and argument to work well, people need to come to such forums with similar assumptions and values. The shared assumptions and values serve as a foundation for the discussion. However, as society becomes more diverse, the likelihood that people share assumptions and values diminishes. As a result, forms of communication such as argument and debate become polarized, which may drive communities apart as opposed to bringing them together. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 Number 19. Some people believe that the social sciences are falling behind the natural sciences. They maintain that not only does social science have no exact laws, but it also has failed to eliminate great social evils such as racial discrimination, crime, poverty, and war. They suggest that social scientists have failed to accomplish what might reasonably have been expected of them. Such critics are usually unaware of the real nature of social science and of its special problems and basic limitations. For example, they forget that the solution to a social problem requires not only knowledge but also the ability to influence people. 
Even if social scientists discover the procedures that could reasonably be followed to achieve social improvement, they are seldom in a position to control social action. For that matter, even dictators find that there are limits to their power to change society. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 20 Have you heard someone say, he has no one to blame but himself for some problem? In everyday life we often blame people for creating their own problems. Although individual behavior can contribute to social problems, our individual experiences are often largely beyond our own control. They are determined by society as a whole by its historical development and its organization. If a person sinks into debt because of overspending or credit card abuse, other people often consider the problem to be the result of the individual's personal failings. However, thinking about it this way overlooks debt among people in low-income brackets who have no other way than debt to acquire basic necessities of life. By contrast, at middle and upper income levels, overspending takes on a variety of meanings typically influenced by what people think of as essential for their well-being and associated with the so-called good life that is so heavily marketed. But across income and wealth levels, Larger-scale economic and social problems may affect the person's ability to pay for consumer goods and services.